What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Little awkward situation here. I can't find my cameraman, and we have an Outdoor Vitals quilt to review. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I look out the window to my office right over there, and, um, well, you'll see for yourself. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Amit. Oh! Dude, I haven't been on one of these in ages, man. This is so fun. We have a video to do. Five more minutes, please. Five more minutes. You're fired. What? You're fired. You're fired. What? Let's go, Emmett. Oh, by the way, I got some good coffee for you to try. It's gonna be great. Oh, dude, that sounds great. I'm so excited. Let's go, Emmett. Okay, now that Emmett is uh, ready to be an adult, we are ready to film this video about the Outdoor Vitals Stormloft quilt. Let me grab it. Just wanna go over the features. Wanna talk to you about this, um, what I've seen in it, how I've used it uh, over the past probably six months that I've had it. I've probably had this on maybe six backpacking trips. Anyway, we're gonna get into all that right now. All right, they make a long version of this quilt and they make a regular version of this quilt. This is the long version of the quilt because I'm six feet, two inches tall. The uh, long version in the 15 degree size is only three ounces heavier than the short version, which is nice. Um, and then the width of this is like 55 inches. <laughs> Emmett will put it up on the screen, uh, but it's long, it's wide enough to uh, use in a hammock or on the ground, uh, which is really, really nice. So I reviewed this quilt uh, a couple years ago uh, the original version of this quilt, and they've made some really significant changes to this quilt. Uh, one change they haven't made is that the quilt is kind of a, a little bit of a shiny fabric. Um, over the several nights that I've slept in this particular particular <laughs> particular quilt, which I've probably had about 20 nights in this quilt so far, um, I didn't experience what I thought I was going to experience, which is, which is that this shiny denier nylon was gonna like stick in sweat. It doesn't, it's totally fine. It just gives it a little bit of a different look. From a quality perspective, like how this quilt is made, it's awesome. There's nothing about this quilt that I think is low quality whatsoever. Um, on any of the stitching, there is zero uh, bleeding of the down, which you would normally see that on quilts or any down uh, product like a jacket or a sleeping bag or a quilt or whatever. None, not even any at all. The only bleeding that I've seen on this was where I actually scraped a hole in it myself when I was camping with it and the down started to kind of come through it a little bit. Okay, so this is where like if there was bleeding, it's because I got a hole in it <laughs> somehow. But it wasn't in the stitching. It wasn't in the stitching. I just realized people may not know what a quilt is. If you don't know what a quilt is, Super fast definition, the Dan Becker definition, of course, is that it is a minimalist sleeping bag. It's literally as much as you can get to stay warm out in the backcountry while you're camping with as little of material as possible. So essentially, it just doesn't have a back to it. So when you look underneath the quilt, there's no zipper going along the side of it. It just opens up. And that's beneficial because you don't have all that extra material underneath you because it's just kind of a waste anyway because you're compressing it underneath you and then that insulation doesn't matter anymore. I've shied away from quilts in the winter time lately for a huge reason in that quilts typically have a draft when you roll over to one side. They sort of pull up on the side and the drafts come in underneath you and then you get cold and it's not fun. This is the only quilt I have ever used where there has never one time been a draft. I never thought that that was gonna be the case ever. I honestly thought for sure every quilt on the market was gonna give me a draft and I've used several different quilts. Now I will admit I have not used them all. There are definitely many brands on the market, especially since quilts have become more popular where I have not used them, but I've used quilts from Perea Outdoors um, UGQ, I've used quilts from Hammock Gear, uh, this is Outdoor Vitals, Thermarest, lots of different brands, probably others. Uh, they've all, every single one of them, had drafts at some point, even with pad straps. For some reason, and I think it's in the design of how this one is actually sewn to where it bows out, 
has never given a draft whatsoever. So I was not afraid to take this on trips where it was cold. All of the quilts that they offer are gray. That's it, that's all you're gonna get. There's no customization whatsoever with their quilts. You're gonna get an interior color that's different and each color of the interior represents a different degree that it's rated to. The blue one is rated to 15 degrees, the red one is rated to something and the green one is rated to something else that Emmett will put on screen because as I said earlier, I don't do stats. This quilt is not ISO rated. This quilt is not EN rated. That was also a concern to me. I was very nervous to take it out in temperatures that were at its limit. But I did, I did take it out in temperatures that were at its limit and I'm gonna attest 100%. I was actually warm at 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I was so warm that I actually like stripped down to nothing but my skibbies. Is skibbies a word? I just don't wanna picture that. Don't, don't Google it. Don't, don't, don't. I don't recommend that. And I was toasty warm. Really actually very warm in this quilt. Um, this quilt is sewn in such a way that the baffles actually are narrower though as they get down towards the foot end here. And I believe that's to make sure that the, um, the down is, stays lofted and stays in place. It is not a sewn through design, which is a good uh, thing. Quilts that are of quality aren't sewn all the way through, so there's not like... Um, you're not gonna be able to hold it up to the light and see through it where the stitching is. It's insulated all the way through, so that's really nice. And then the foot end here is sewn at an opposite direction, which is nice, because that's gonna hold the down in place down here. And as far as I can tell, when I'm messing around with this quilt down here, it looks like and feels like there's actually more down in the foot end. So if you are a person that gets cold feet at night, I wouldn't worry about that at all. Um, if you're the type of person that likes a zipper at the bottom of your quilt, you're not gonna get one with this quilt. It's just a sewn in design. Now, I do have quilts that have the zipper. Um, I've had them for many years and I bought them that way because I thought that I was gonna, you know, have the option and need to unzip it and use it like a blanket. And I never did. I never did one time. I've always used my quilts sewn up. So I, that doesn't bother me at all. But if that's an issue to you, you may not like that. At the head end, there is a draft collar here that goes the length of the end of the quilt, which is really nice. Uh, so when this is wrapped around your neck, this is gonna fold in and it's gonna stop the drafts from coming down into the quilt. And it's, man, it's just so cozy, so nice. It will also come with pad straps when you buy it. I'm pretty sure this is the <laughs> pad strap that comes with it. This one I had to steal from another <laughs> quilt I've got because I'm, I totally lost it. So but they just uh, connect to the buckles here and then they will wrap underneath a sleeping pad back up to the other side, which is what holds it in place on your sleeping pad. Now what's super unique with this quilt over the other quilts that I've got is that along the sides, and this is what makes it like above and beyond for me. So this is seriously like the quilt that I would reach for before any other quilt at this point is that it bows way outward here, way outward here. And as far as I can tell, that right here between these two pad straps, so you can see it kind of comes to a point a little bit here, that's what's stopping it from having drafts. And I do crank this uh, like pretty tight around my sleeping pad, not to the point where it's like wrapped in, wrapping underneath it all, but enough to where I'm not worried about it getting, being loose where it's gonna have drafts. So zero drafts, that's a major win in my book. All right, if I had to nitpick, I would say that there's two flaws with this quilt. One is in the button design here around the neck. It does only have one button here. So when you are when you button this around your neck, if you are the type of person that moves around a lot, this could come apart on you in the middle of the night. Now you do kind of got to have a little bit of force to it. And again, I'm nitpicking here, but it would be nice if there was a second button here, something in place to hold it a little bit more uh, secure. And then the only other downside to this quilt is that when you tension it here around the neck, the tensioning cord is right in the middle. So as I've said this in other videos, that drives me nuts because this tends to lay in your face at night when you're sleeping. So if, if it were me, I would move this tensioner to the ends here so that way that doesn't happen anymore, happen anymore. And then I would add another button here to make sure that that uh, stays. So the down in this is an 800 fill down and it's DWR treated, which means that it's uh, 
water resistant. So if it does get wet, it should hold its loft a lot better than down that isn't treated. And 800 fill down is fantastic. That is a really puffy feather. So that means they had to put less feathers inside of this quilt in order to give it the loft that it needs. So that would mean that this is a pretty lightweight quilt for what it is. One other thing to notice about this quilt is that on the foot here, it tapers upward. And that I think is to just assume that you're gonna be laying on your back all night long. And so it tapers like this. So your feet are gonna be up and that means that your toes are gonna stay warm because the down doesn't get uh, compressed up here. I roll around a lot at night and did not ever one time notice that my feet got cold whatsoever. There was plenty of nights in the 20s that I slept in this that I actually slept with no socks on and had warm feet. So that was really nice too. Oh, and for those of you that are wondering, this is filled with RDS certified down, which essentially means that uh, the geese or the gooses, the gooses, <laughs> the birds that were plucked for the down we're all dead first. <laughs> so it's responsibly certified, it's responsibly sourced down. It's a 10 denier nylon on the outside and guess what it is on the inside? Glue. <sighs> it's <laughs> it is a 10 denier nylon on the inside as well. And the cost of this quilt, it's actually really good. Uh, we're gonna put that up on the screen as well. <laughs> but it's super competitive. Um, the only other downside to this quilt is if you want like customization, you're not gonna be able to customize these quilts, but I'm gonna just be honest with you, I, I don't care about that anymore. I used to care about that when I was first backpacking. I wanted to like have the coolest looking this and decided this and design it this way and all that stuff, but that's really not a big deal. What's important to me is when I get out into the backcountry, I have a comfortable, lightweight, sleep system that is going to keep me warm that I don't have to worry about. And this quilt 100% fits the bill. This is, in my opinion, the best quilt for that on the market. You're not gonna find a better one. Now I'm gonna get arguments in the comments for that and that's totally fine. So if you have another quilt that you like, put it in the comments below. We can all talk about it, okay? We can talk, not scream and yell. It's just a quilt, people. You're screaming and yelling. I am screaming. I apologize. I like to apologize for the screaming right now. I apologize. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this up because I'm sure Emmett needs to go jump on the trampoline or go play with some Hot Wheels or something now. I don't know what he's gonna do, but I'm sure he's gotta go do that. And if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. I apologize, Emmett. And we'll see you guys. No, I don't. You're fired. On the next one.